What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and in this one we have some uh, uh, box sets. So we have the um, Optic Complete box set and Prism box set from uh, Target. These actually just recently released. I believe it was Wednesday, which this is like the fastest shipping ever from Target. Sometimes to get, uh, you know, products from Target can take like a week, two weeks even. So this is crazy. I'm actually recording this video on Friday uh, the 7th. I'm gonna try to get this video up the same day. So these released literally two days ago and they are already here. So uh, again, this was the Target release. We had the Optic Complete Set. We had the Prism Complete Set. Uh, they did also release Optic Basketball Blasters. So I grabbed three of those. And then also the Prism Basketball Mega Boxes uh, released as well. So the Optic Blasters did also come I'm probably gonna open those in a separate video. And then the Prism Megas uh, are supposed to be here sometime this next week. So of course, the most anticipated product that I picked up uh, is the last one to arrive. That's just kind of how it goes. Uh, so definitely looking forward to opening up uh, some of those Prism Mega Boxes. I did go ahead and grab three of each of these. So I wanna rip uh, you know, one of each on the channel and then I am actually planning a break of the other two. So we do have two more of these optic boxes and two more of the prism boxes. And the plan is with those, uh, I'm gonna post those on 502frank.com if you guys are interested. It is gonna be a complete 30 spot break, but every time we open up a box, so say for, for example, we start with the optic box, um, I'm gonna re-random all of the teams. So you should get a different team every single time. So just because you get the Pistons on the first one, uh, you might not, or you don't get the Pistons on the first one, you could get it the second, third, or fourth. Um, so hopefully, you know, throughout one of the four, you will get a good team and you will basically get every card um, from that box for the team that you get. So I think that's a pretty fair way to do it. It should be pretty fun as well, uh, getting four different teams in the same break. So uh, yeah, be on the lookout on that uh, on 502frank.com if you're interested in that break. And then I do also want to mention that, uh, you know, this was a target release, which I've already said, uh, but the, uh, paid discord uh, down below did alert all of the members to this restock so uh you know these weren't super hard to grab uh, you might even still be able to grab these i'm not really too sure but the uh the optic blasters and the prism mega boxes were a little bit more difficult especially the prism mega boxes a lot of people actually did not get those i got super super lucky and was able to get through and get those uh but if you are in a discord that has retail monitors it does just give you a, a little bit more of an advantage uh, to be able to know when these do come in stock. So if you guys are interested in joining, hit the link down below. And now let's go ahead and get into these boxes. I think I have rambled enough. So I guess let's just go ahead and start with Optic. Um, unfortunately, these, uh, so, so these did just arrive and they were kind of, they were in some pretty big boxes. And unfortunately there was like no, you know, paper or bubble wrap or anything. They were just kind of thrown in there. So uh, they look to be in okay shape. Hopefully they didn't get thrown around too much. Uh, again, they look, you know, pretty good, but definitely, definitely not ideal. So um, for the optic box, we are gonna get one complete printed set on exclusive cardstock. I'm sure you guys have seen these before. I uh, do have a few of these, uh, you know, in the background there, I believe. Those actually might be from Fanatics or Target or maybe a little bit of both. Uh, but then you do also get the one bonus pack that does have the purple Pulsar rated rookies, which is nice. Uh, I think you're guaranteed, yeah, you are guaranteed five rookies. I believe in the Prism set, it just says five bonus different Hyper Prisms. Doesn't say rookies. So I think that the five different Hyper Prisms could be, you know, just across the board, any card in the set. So the optic is nice that you are guaranteed rookies. So let's go ahead and get into this and see what, <laughs> excuse me, see what we can find. And I'm not gonna go through every single card. I'll just kind of look for some of the top rookies. Uh, hopefully there's no print lines or surface issues or anything like that. Centering is not atrocious. And then we will open up our optic pack uh, after that. So let's get this little foam piece out of here and let's see where we, oh, whoops, that's not good. Maybe grab a little bit of a smaller stack there. So it looks like they're kind of all mixed together. Um, Kuminga, there's Franz Wagner. Centering, not perfect on it, but I've certainly seen worse. So maybe we'll try to see if we can find um, Jalen Green or uh, Cade. 
Davion Mitchell. Ooh, Evan Mobley, pretty off center, <laughs> unfortunately. So centering, you know, always going to be an issue with with optic. Uh, but let's see. Hopefully, you know, potentially the Cade and the Jalen Green might be okay. Josh Giddy is actually really good, so that's not too bad. We'll take that. Uh, let's see. There's Scotty Barnes, better. Okay. Jalen Johnson, Ayo. There's Cade and not perfect, but not as bad as what was the one? I think the Mobley was just really, really bad. So Cade, not terrible. And I'll, I'll find the uh, Jalen Green later. I know you guys aren't uh, probably super uh, concerned about the, the base cards. So again, real quick look at just the base Pulsars. There's a good look at the Cade. Again, just a little tiny bit off left to uh, right. Honestly, still might be within that uh, PSA 10 parameters. I'm not seeing any print lines. So honestly, overall, pretty solid condition. Definitely happy about that. So there's three of the top guys there. We'll sit those on top. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get that off to the side. Let's go ahead and get into our purple, uh, I think, was it purple Pulsar? Yeah, purple Pulsar pack. And hopefully we can get Maybe one of those uh, three guys that we just pulled out. And starting off, ooh, it's red and I see J.A. I think it could be Jalen Green. Could also maybe be Jalen Johnson. Um, But that's going to be Jalen Green. Let's go. So starting off, uh, you know, on a good note on our purple Pulsar pack. Now, centering on this one, not great. You can tell that top border is pretty thin compared to the bottom but we will definitely take that. Uh, we got Trey and Murphy behind that. And it looks like these are all gonna be pretty similar uh, centering. Pretty, you know, a little bit off uh, top to bottom. We got Kessler Edwards. Let's see, for the Grizzlies, is that gonna be Zaire? Okay, not bad, Zaire Williams. And then we are gonna end on a Nick. That is gonna be Miles McBride. All right, well, I am very happy with that. You know, we got the some of the top guys' base cards look pretty good. And then on the purple Pulsar, we got a Jalen Green. Definitely, definitely happy about that. So let's go ahead and move these off to the side and see how we can do with Prism. Uh, we'll probably look at sending some of these to either SGC or uh, PSA at those lower rates, which speaking of that, if you're also interested in sending anything to SGC or PSA, check out 502frank.com. Some very, very inexpensive options uh, with both services now. So uh, pretty much same thing here. We're looking for the entire Prism set and then we're gonna see, I guess there should be another pack with five different Hyper Prism. So interested to see those. Hoping, you know, with a 335 card set, I'm hoping on a five card pack, you can maybe get one. If you get one rookie, that's probably a win. Two would be really, really nice. So we'll see how we can do. Interested to see the, uh, the colors on the different hyper prisms as well. Definitely interesting. And see if we have a pack. Yes, we do have a pack right on top. There it is. All right, let's get one of these little foam pieces out of the way. And again, we'll just kind of, you know, see if we can find some of the top names. And there is Isaiah Livers. And wow, I wish that was a Cade because that is per literally perfectly centered. That is probably the best centered prism card I've ever seen. Um, let's see. Are these all going to be the rookies? Nope. So it is. They are. They are all going to be mixed in. Oh wow, Jalen Green, right off the bat, and centered pretty well. Not as good as the livers. Little tiny bit off. The the, the bottom border is a little bit thicker, uh, but not too bad at all. There's David Johnson, uh, Ao. Uh, let's see. Let's kind of keep moving through here. See if we can. I don't know. I don't know if they're like in order or not. As far as like in the set, ooh, that the centering on Santi Aldama pretty bad. <laughs> that top border is super thin, uh, so kind of random, you know. Kind of random how some are pretty well centered and then some are just horrible. So let me just go through just a few more, see if we can come across uh, Cade, and then uh, if not, we'll we'll move on to our our bonus pack there. Uh, let's see. 
Sharif Cooper, Steve Nash. Oh, there's Scotty Barnes. Uh, not great. <laughs> not great on the uh, Scotty Barnes, but we'll set that aside. There's Kuminga. Um, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll worry about the Cade Cunningham later again. I don't want to show you guys a bunch of the same cards, uh, same parallels. So we'll put these back and then we'll get into our um, Pulsar pack. Interested again, interested to see these, uh, the colors in here. And hopefully we can get some top names. So, oh, I forgot to mention also the optic sets. These were pretty expensive. I uh, totally forgot to mention that earlier. Uh, again, on Target's website, the optic sets were $150 a piece. And then the prism set was $200. So pretty, pretty expensive. But I did want to get some to show you guys. And also wanted to, you know, try to uh, do a break of this stuff. Thought that would be a pretty interesting break. You know, re-randomizing it four times. You get four different teams. Um, so first up, looks like we have a red Pulsar. So, wait, we have... Am I crazy or is there six cards? Uh, did that say five? Hold on. Find five bonus hyper prisms and we have six cards here. So we got a red, a blue, a green, a purple, and two oranges. All right, so starting off with Malik Beasley. And next card is going to be upside down. And that is for the Wizards. So I don't really know who we're looking for. Kispert, maybe. That's going to be Denny on the blue. And centering bad on that one, man. Uh, we have for the Miami Heat. Not a rookie. Duncan Robinson. So again, huge, huge set. Going to be very tough to get some rookies, let alone the top guys. Uh, it's gonna be oh man, I saw the green. I was really hoping that'd be Bucks. Would love to get that the Giannis card where he's uh, you know holding the or that's LeBron where uh, Giannis is holding the uh, trophies. Uh, Enos Cantor, oh man. All right, let me get at least one rookie. Oh my gosh. Okay, Devonte Graham. This is a brutal pack. And finally for the Hornets, I guess Lamelo. Whew. Gordon Hayward, what a brutal pack. So the oranges actually do look a little bit different. The Gordon Hayward looks a little bit darker than the Devontae Graham, which they're both Hornets, but uh, none of those none of those are going to be numbered, I don't believe. And that was a brutal, brutal pack. Uh, but again, 335 card set. You're only getting you're only supposed to get five cards, and we actually got an extra card and still couldn't get a still couldn't get a rookie. So. Uh, you know, if you get a rookie, a top name rookie, that is going to be a major, major win. Um, so, yeah, we are going to have a couple more chances um, in breaks on 502frank.com. Planning on breaking next Wednesday. So if you're interested, check it out. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. I will have those optic blasters probably coming tomorrow. And then I'm headed to the Midwest Monster card show tomorrow. So I will definitely have some footage of that in the next few days as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you soon.